Uh, good morning, Josh. I was wondering when you when you reviewed the film, what was the biggest issue you guys had with defending the read option? Uh, well, there was there was a number of issues. I, I would say some of it was uh, just uh, individual technique. Um, you know, getting all eleven guys on the same page, uh, and then I would say you know some of it was uh, you know just overall in general. Like we were in uh, some different things on different things and they, they you know, it came up versus uh, various fronts and options. And then, you know, there was just uh, a couple corrections that, uh, you know, we just needed to correct on each play. And then obviously we could coach it better. We could play it better. Um, so that's kind of what happened there. Alan? Good morning, Josh. I uh, wanted to ask you what led to Brandon Jones getting as much playing time as he did in his first NFL game and how you thought he did overall. Well, again, I mean, look, a lot, a lot of things go into playing time. Um, I mean, all of it's earned. Um, and I would say the, the other things that come up with playing time is the consideration of, you know, what we're trying to do defensively, um, players' health, uh, players' amount of time at practice, uh, all those things go into play, and all those things go into consideration. Obviously, week by week, we're, we're going to do what we feel gives us the best chance to be successful. Um, you know, Brandon, had a, he had a solid camp. Um, you know, he did some good things, did some bad things, you know, and obviously we want to build off the good things and the things that, you know, we need to correct. Uh, you know, we're going to try very hard to get corrected. How? Hi, Josh. Uh, I wanted to get your assessment of how Shaq Lawson did in his first game as a Dolphin. Well, I think Shaq and all guys in general, I think that there were some good things out there. Then again, there were some things that obviously need, need some correction. And I, I think the thing that will help us defensively and, uh, you know, for whether it's coaching, playing, is just being consistent on a play after play basis. And it's, it really goes down to, you know, everybody just kind of doing their individual job. So collectively as a group, it's coordinated and, and, and we're doing that well. Um, so I would say, you know, there were some good things and then there were some things that, you know, that we need to correct. And then we're all going to work hard to make sure that we, we get that corrected. Um, and because, I mean, it's going to show up again this week. I mean, we'll, we'll see things that we struggled with last week, this week for sure. So, uh, you know, we're all putting a lot of time and effort in on making sure we get that corrected. Cam? Hey, Josh, uh, you mentioned individual uh, jobs there. And yeah, I guess from what we saw on the read option, it looked like Shaq and, and I guess Emmanuel too had some struggles on making a decision on which player to defend, the quarterback or the running back. What do you ask your edge guys to do when they see the read option? Like what's what's the the – the, I guess, decision there for, for each edge guy. Okay. Yeah. So again, a lot of it, and I would say a lot of it depends on the particular scheme. So it might not actually be the same every time that we do something, um, you know, uh, with, with our edge guys. Um, but I would say, look, first of all, it's, it starts with me. So, you know, I, I've got to put the guys in better spots. I got to coach it better. And, uh, you know, and everybody's got to understand and know what their responsibility is with, within and each every call. And, uh, you know, so like it, it could vary from call to call. Um, it can vary where they are in the defense, what defense we're in, um, which I think is ultimately what you want to do. Um, because if you just line up in the same thing over and over again, you know, then that, that makes it really easy for the offense there. So again, like, Look, all of that, they, it basically, it starts with me. Um, uh, and, we, and we're going to work hard to get it corrected because, like I said, we're going to see it again this week. Travis? Hey, Josh, a couple of questions ago, you kind of mentioned the similarities of some of the offenses you're going to face in week one, week two. I'm just curious, if you, as you guys turn the page here, what can you learn from that first game to kind of apply it to another athletic quarterback that's pretty big like Josh Allen? Well, I think, again, the, the focus starts with us and correcting the, the, the mistakes that we made uh, and making sure that we have things uh, solidified uh, as a unit. Um, and there were definitely, you know, um, again, Buffalo, they have, they have very talented offensive play, 
personnel. Uh, they have a very good play caller uh, who for sure is going to test us on things that, that we struggled in with week one. Um, he's going to test us on things that he perceives as our weakness from a year ago. Um, you know, and, and they'll do it in a variety of different ways. It won't look exactly the same, um, but, uh, you know, so we, we got to work very hard here this week to get the things corrected uh, that, where we made mistakes. And the good news is it's all correctable. And it's just going to take a little bit of effort, a little bit of work, and getting everybody kind of on the same page on some things. But it's all correctable. And we're working hard to do that. Safed? Hey, Josh, I noticed sometimes at the line of scrimmage, there was maybe a numbers disadvantage where the Patriots maybe had six guys on the line or seven guys near the hash mark and, and the Dolphins had maybe four or, or, or six. There, there, were, there were at a numbers disadvantage there, despite the linebackers being, you know, four or five yards back. Um, did that numbers disadvantage kind of hurt you guys trying to stop the run and the, the things you want to correct? Is, is that a quick fix that you can handle in, you know, three or four practices this week? Well, I mean... I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about specifically as far as like, you know, like fun, fundamentally, like, you know, a lot of the things that we line up in, we, we were pretty sound. Like, you know, there could be some movement things on some things or there, there could be some uh, mis-execution on some things. Um, but uh, as far as that goes, yeah, I, 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 like I said, I think everything's correctable from a week ago. And, um, you know, I, I would say we're all working hard to get that done. Um, we, we know we're going to get tested on it. Uh, so, you know, and, you know, and the, and the guys, you know, like, look, we had a good week of practice last week. We plan to have a good, good week of practice again this week. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to correct the things that uh, we need to correct and, you know, and keep improving and building on the things that we've been doing well. Omar. Josh, I want to ask you about how do you think uh, Xavier Howard and Byron Jones performed in, in their first game together and, and coming back from their injuries? Well, again, you know, I mean, the, uh, you know, they weren't always out there at the same time, um, you know, but uh, I, I thought both of them, you know, they competed. I thought there were some good things, some really good things that they did. And, you know, and I think there's some things that we can work on to improve. And I think they will. You know, I, I think, like I said, you know, we got a good group of guys here. They're going, they're going to work hard to get things corrected, and um, you know, and we'll like, I, like I told you guys, you know, a couple of weeks ago, our defense will evolve over time here. And obviously, you know, we'll, like, look, there's things that we need to correct, and we're going to do that. And um, you know, and then the play, the play itself will kind of evolve over time, and we're going to see different things from different offenses, for sure. Um, so. Um, and, we'll, and we'll prepare for that and be ready for that. All right, we have time for two more questions. We're going to go to Hal. Uh, Josh, your first time calling plays in a while. I'm curious how it went and uh, what was the communication like? Um, you know, I, I think, again, for us as a coaching staff, um, you know, there was a lot of guys that uh, it, it was the first time, um, you know, with kind of call it live action. Um, so there was a little bit of a process there. Um, you know, the communication was pretty smooth. Um, we were able to get the calls in, you know, um, you know, not that, not that everybody, you know, like you're never going to call a perfect game. No, no players ever going to play a perfect game. You know, there's going to be some up, ups and downs there. Um, but from a communication standpoint, it was pretty smooth. Um, there's, there's a lot of things that, you know, that we, that we can work on as a staff. I would say, uh, you know, in between series and stuff like that to, to make it a little bit more smoother operation. And again, as coaches, play caller, whoever it is, we're always looking for improvement um, going from one week to the next. And, you know, and everybody's working hard to make sure that we get that. Final question, we'll go to Cam. Hey, Josh, I know the, the Patriots last week, they ran the ball, I think, what, two to one over the past game. And um, obviously, like in this modern NFL is more nickel and dime. I wonder how does that kind of affect you as a defensive play caller where you may want to be in those nickel and dime packages, but they're they're running heavy at you? Yeah, so, I mean, again, um, you know, based on the game plan, based on the week, you know, we, we can be in different packages. Uh, we were in a little bit more big people than we've, we've probably been in. Um, you know, you just kind of, you know, the game's going to kind of dictate itself 
a little bit by what they do personnel wise. And we, we got to be ready to adjust. And obviously, like I said, it, it all starts with me. I need to do a better job at uh, making sure we, that we got the right groups in there and that all 11 guys that are out there and, and our different groups, uh, you know, know what they're doing and do their job to the best of their abilities. So, um, and like I said, I mean, we're going to work very hard to make sure that, that we have that down.